Wednesday morning. The thing you want is it so close you almost believe as if you close your eyes and reach out that you could touch it? Or maybe the thing you desire, it's already in your hand, but it's slipping away. You can feel it. So you so you grasp. You try everything you can just to keep the thing with you to stop it from leaving. Hmm. In moments like these, oftentimes our sinful nature takes over and we fail. Often. Much like Saul, we think we have the ability to fix the problem on our own. Saul could see the battle slipping away with every soldier that ran away. In that moment, all the pieces were there. The time appointed by the high priest, the battle, the burnt offering, the fellowship offering, there was just one thing missing, God. Saul made a decision. He chose to not wait for the prophet of God, Samuel, as instructed, and instead he offers the burnt and fellowship offerings himself. That decision had consequences. Saul lost his kingdom. Our decisions have consequences, and often we're left stripped and a shell of what we once were. Thankfully, we have God's Word and His Holy Spirit to guide us through these times before we have to make a decision. Psalm 130 verse 5 tells us how to proceed in moments like the one Saul experienced. Wait. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in His Word, I hope. When you're not sure, Wait in hope. While things might be seemingly slipping out of your hands, they are not slipping out of the Lord's hands. Wait in hope. Psalm 3320 says, We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. The next time you find yourself in a moment of indecision, trial, confusion, don't be like Saul. Take a minute, breathe, focus on the Lord. And remember his past promises and wait. God will meet you where you need him. Lord, you have showed up in my life so many times. I know I can count on you to show up the next time I need you. For me, Lord, it's not a lack of confidence in you as much as it is a lack of patience in me. So, Lord, help me, because you know I don't wait well. Nevertheless, I wait in hope for you. With confidence in your Lordship, I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.